what's up? We're talking about what makes a nerd fighter today, and here's what I think. Ooh, nerd fighter, what up? That was the end. Here we go. It's good. It's good. This is really difficult. Why do they have to make this line so hard? One of the things that I was drawn to about John Green's books was the fact that he writes young adult novels that are smart and intelligent, and he understands that young adults are able to analyze and understand and read books really intelligently and not just be reading about relationships and vampires and werewolves and Justin Bieber's hair, as you put it. That, to me, was what was missing from young adult literature. I, I always loved young adult, and it would always piss me off that when I would go to the bookstore, every book was pink, and every book was about princesses or vampires or werewolves or girls in relationships. That's the main one. Every single one is about girls in relationships, and yet John writes really strong female characters, which is amazing to me really strong female characters and he's not even a girl i can't this the fault in our stars is going to be unbelievable because if he writes amazing girl characters that are not even the narrator i can't even imagine what this next one's going to be like i mean his boy characters are amazing too but i mean his the girl characters are like so complex and so awesome anyway so that was my reasoning for Becoming a nerd fighter. Can you hear my dad talking in the background? My dad's on the phone. That might ruin a video. And then I started just reading all his books and going online, and I started just getting into the whole nerd fighter thing through YouTube videos mainly. And I guess that I always assumed that being a nerd fighter was having to do with that, but then I was watching your video, Simone, and you made up made some really good points that you know, just making small differences in the world and not just caring about Jersey Shore and Twilight and yada yada yada. That's kind of what being a nerd fighter is all about. And there is stuff that I do during the day that makes a difference in people's lives. And I mean, right now the main thing is childcare. <laughs> so that's, yeah, you know, I don't think it has to be like donating your money or, um, like volunteering for these great organizations or whatever the thing is or going to any of the nerd fighter events you know it's more just like what can you do in your daily life that will make a difference to someone it doesn't have to be a lot of people just to someone and i think that's what being a nerd fighter is about there's also a side of nerd fighteria that's like goofy and i think it doesn't always have to be the serious let's help the world thing. It can also be, look, here's a community of people that's really awesome and everyone is really different and really interesting and we can all talk together and watch YouTube videos and have inside jokes. And I think that's a really big part, possibly the biggest part of being a nerd fighter. It's just enjoying this community and taking it for however you want to take it. If you want it to be some big, I'm going to save the world thing, and that's awesome, and I'm all for that, and I wish I had more dedication, but for me, it's making a difference in people's lives in small ways and having a great time on, in this online community. I'll see you guys next week.